Why were demonstrators rioting at City Hall and chanting, we want justice? Hey, I'm Michael Callahan, and on this forgotten day in 1979, at 5.28 p.m. in the Hall of Justice, the trial of Dan White came to a shocking end as the jury's verdict was read. White, who had confessed to killing Mayor George Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk, was found guilty of two counts of voluntary manslaughter. Many believed, and rightfully so, that White should have been convicted of first-degree murder, which would have meant life in prison or even the death penalty. Instead, the jury's voluntary manslaughter verdict meant that White would spend at most seven years and eight months in prison. Somehow, White's lawyer used a diminished capacity defense to convince the jury that because White ate junk food, it affected his judgment. This would become known as the Twinkie defense, a term still used today. Then Mayor Dianne Feinstein reacted with disbelief, saying, as far as I'm concerned, there were two murders. And at around 7 p.m. near Castro and Market Streets, a somber and quiet march began. But the mood soon changed to chaos as crowds grew to more than 5,000 demonstrators who rampaged through the Civic Center, throwing rocks and glass at police and setting cars on fire. The Chronicle described the Civic Center Plaza as a virtual battlefield, and it took police in riot gear over four hours to push the looters and demonstrators away from City Hall. In the end, 59 policemen and 124 people were injured, including Supervisor Carol Ruth Silver, who was hit by a flying object and sent to the hospital with a bloody lip. All right, do you remember where you were when you heard the ridiculous white verdict? I wanna know, let me know in the comments below or tweet me, Michael Callahan, at MCallahanTV, using hashtag ForgottenDaySF. I'll tweet you back.